Uh, we do have something uh, astronomical happening, happening this weekend, of oh, course. Yeah. We have this uh, solar eclipse that's going to happen here uh, in North Texas. Not a total solar eclipse. So the, the sun will be about 80 plus percent obscured by the moon. So it's not going to be one of those ones where it goes completely dark outside. Uh, but we will see you know, the moon pass in front of the sun for a little bit uh, this next Saturday morning. And as we keep saying... Even with just a little bit of the sun coming through there, you still have to have those glasses to look at yeah, this. Yeah, or maybe, or maybe you should just go and stare at it. You know, I mean, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Don't try that at home. Of course. Please don't do don't it. Don't try it. At Please home. don't do it. All right, I know people will. If obviously. you want to continue to see, doesn't matter after what that. I say. People are still gonna. People are still gonna do it. Uh, all right. So here's what happens as uh, as we head into this upcoming uh, weekend. A partial solar eclipse will begin about 10:23, That's the highest that we'll see covered here in North Texas. That'll happen about at 8:52, and then it'll end about 1:30 uh, in the afternoon this upcoming Saturday. We'll have clear skies for all that going on as well. So no uh, worries about cloud cover obscuring any of that. So it'll be nice view. Doing, wear the glasses if you have them. Don't just sit there and stare at the sun. Obviously, that goes without saying. But the next what we call annular solar eclipse, which is one that's not a total solar eclipse. It's just where part of the sun is obscured uh, by the moon. That won't happen again until February 5th, 2046. So it's going to be a while until we have another solar eclipse like this one. But we have an even better one headed our way next year, April 8th, 2024. That's when right here in North Texas we will see one of those total solar eclipses where the moon will completely obscure the sun. It'll be kind of, you know, where it goes dark outside for a little bit. We will see one of those in less than a year. I'm really, really looking forward to that. And by the way, if you missed that one, if you're out of town or something like that, because all of North Texas will have a decent viewing of that one. If you're out of town, you got to wait another 20 years for the next one to happen in the U.S. August 23rd. 2044, uh, and I'm not even actually sure what the path of that one is. Uh, probably won't include Texas. It might. I'm not entirely sure. I have to look it up, but it's not a guarantee that we'll be able to see that one uh, here in North Texas in 2044. Step out of the way here. U campus to UNT at Denton, 74 degrees. Wind turbines spinning a little bit. You see the cloud cover overhead. Kind of looks like it's going to rain, but it's not going to as we head through the remainder of the afternoon into the evening here. Cedar Hill sitting at 70, gusting to 25. There's the cloud cover, but I have the radar turned on and you can see nothing going on here in North Texas, just some cloud cover. The sunshine's broken out across western areas. Any rain today has been well to our southeast, mainly kind of down around the Texas coast, and then a good soaking happening for portions of Louisiana up into uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and a coastal Florida there. But that whole disturbance is moving away, which means we will not see any uh, rain with it. Maybe just some clouds late tonight and through the day tomorrow. Well, our next uh, thing that we're paying attention to is a cold front that will move in Friday morning, but look at what happens. I mean, just no rain to speak of with this one. Remember the last front that we had that brought us the cool weather, the fall like weather for this past weekend. That one did bring us a good round of showers and storms. This one will not will not have a ton of moisture to work with, uh, but it will bring a, another fall like weekend in store for us. So I do have 80s for highs for the next couple days. We'll have a little more cloud cover around again tomorrow. That'll help hold down that temperature. We were kind of concerned that you know tomorrow may hit our upper 80s to around 90, but it looks like we might have enough cloud cover to just hold us in the low to mid 80s or so. 80s again on Friday. Friday, so really that cooler air doesn't really arrive until the weekend. So 74 Saturday, 72 this next Sunday, and maybe even 71 by this upcoming Monday. Dry and breezy tonight. Clouds may try and clear out just a little bit, but then they'll increase again as we head toward tomorrow morning. 65 for your low and then tomorrow warm, muggy and windy. 84 for the high. We'll start off the morning with a fair amount of cloud cover and then there might be some breaks in the clouds as we head through the afternoon and then into the evening. Next seven look like this. That weekend's going to be great. Cool mornings followed by pleasant afternoons. That forecast actually continues into Monday and Tuesday of that next week. And then our next rain chances aren't until the about a week from now. Uh, next Thursday and Friday, we could see another front move in here, bring us back maybe some showers and storms, although that front doesn't look overly strong, but at least may bring back some rain chances uh, back to the area.